On January 25, the U.S. Embassy hosted a blues concert in celebration of Dr. Martin Luther King Day. The U.S. Embassy's guests for this concert were alumni of the U.S. government's International Visitor Leadership Program, and the featured performer was the Surin Arustamian Blues Band. U.S. Ambassador Mari Jovanovic welcomed the guests and spoke briefly about the legacy of Dr. King before introducing the band. Good evening. I am just delighted to welcome all of you to a great blues concert that we've got uh, lined up for you and also to celebrate the life and work of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. And I can't think of a better occasion uh, on which to convene our International Visitor Leadership Program alumni, all of you, a diverse group of very talented Armenian leaders. We honor Dr. King for many different reasons. First and foremost, because he helped America live up to its own ideals, our own constitution, and he changed our country for the better. Generations of Americans born since Dr. King's tragic death find it difficult to believe that our nation once made it legal to separate black Americans from white Americans. Solely on the basis of the color of their skin, we in the United States denied an entire group of citizens equal access to good education, meaningful jobs, and protection under the law. We're still a work in progress in the United States, but I can tell you that the United States has changed profoundly for the better over the course of one lifetime, and even actually my own lifetime, thanks in large part to Dr. King's vision and leadership. His life shows the changes that one man can make, the difference that one man can make, and we honor Dr. King for demonstrating the essential role of private citizens as agents of social change. Dr. King said, I refuse to accept the idea that man is unable to influence the unfolding of events which surround him. Through Dr. King's example, we see that individual citizens can move mountains when they courageously stand up for what they believe. President Obama recently stated, commemorating Dr. King's life is not only a tribute to his contributions to our nation and the world, but also a reminder that every day, each one of us can play a part in continuing this critical work. And so tonight, to inspire us to continue Dr. King's critical work, we will listen to a brief excerpt of Dr. King's I Have a Dream speech, and then enjoy a blues concert. And some of you may be wondering, why are we celebrating Dr. King's life with a blues concert? And the answer is because Dr. King and the blues have a lot in common. Both have their roots in the black churches of America's rural South. And similar to Dr. King's speeches, blues songs often talk about hardship and pain, yet somehow these songs lift our spirits and give us strength. Finally, like the blues, Dr. King's inspiring words have spread from the United States to all parts of the world, including right here in Armenia. And if you don't believe me, just wait until you hear how Surin plays the blues. But before we get to the musical part of the evening, let's take a few moments to listen to Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr. Thank you.
Anahit Khachatryan, Public Affairs Section, U.S. Embassy, Armenia.